right guys welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in right now i'm just driving the car around the neighborhood kind of trying to break these rear end gears in i'm super anxious to do a pull but i don't want to do one just yet i know i said i would just do a few miles and then i'd probably give in and do it but uh yeah it's friday i have the day off so i'm just driving the car around the neighborhood trying to go through the gears shift through you know not go too crazy or anything like that but yeah i thought i'd you know hop on a video but talk to you guys I'm getting myself into you know when i start running these kind of cars these newer camaros challenger charger mustang cars i really think this car is going to stand up good against any all-motor car even if it's on e85 or full bolt on like the new six gen camaros i would really like to run one of those i think that'd be a pretty good race between me and that I've raced a full bolt on S550 and the new edge got the better of that one but uh, yeah I want to see how the car stacks up against a lot of those cars I want to see what times those cars are running I think this car once I learn the car it should be in the 11 seconds you know I should if I could put down a good pass I should be able to run 11.5 11.3 if my shifts are on point my launch is on point and I hook up with traction and everything like that I don't see why the car won't run 11.5 at 120 125 I really have no clue what to expect on the first go around I'm thinking like high 12s whenever I'm learning how to launch the car I'm not gonna go crazy with shifting I'm not gonna shift it like I've like I've been drag racing the car forever so I mean I'm just gonna try to be patient practice not get frustrated if the car is running a lot slower time than i think it's going to run but uh yeah it's just all about having fun for me you know i'm not i'm not into the grudge racing or anything like that i do it purely out of the appreciation of the car like i always wanted to build a car so i built a car i actually had a 2014 mustang gt before i bought my house. car just the appreciation of the car you know it was a beautiful car it was a well-rounded motor plenty power for the road just as a daily driver it was an awesome car so i re i wanted i have a daily driver now and i wanted to build a car so i built the car and i'm not into you know betting money on races if someone wants to bet a little money or something like that, that that's one thing but you see at the pad and stuff like that people are betting thousands of dollars like i would lose sleep at night if i lost a thousand dollars on a race it's just too many things that could go into it you know you could smoke the tires and as we all know spinning ain't winning so you you get a bad launch smoke the tires and lose a grand yeah i'm not i'm not about that life not yet i do want to mention wearing this head strap driving around the neighborhood i haven't getting some pretty crazy looks everybody's looking at me like what the hell is he doing but uh yeah, I'm trying to run with the windows pretty much up for the most part. And I don't know if you can see, but the Mustang does not have air conditioning. In South Louisiana, it's about 95 degrees. It feels like a freaking oven in here. So I'm doing this for you guys so you can hear me better. But it is hot as all hell in here. And I don't know if you can see, but if you saw in the last video or a couple videos ago, we put that Kirky seat in and Jags has still not sent me that pad. So my butt is completely numb at this point. I am just going off a of feel like my ass is completely numb. I'm sweating, but I'm super motivated to get content out. So you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Finish the build right in time for the Louisiana summer. So it is hot as hell in here, but it's not too bad when I roll all the windows down and stuff like that, but you wouldn't really be able to hear me with the wind noise. So that's why I have the windows up. So I'm just kind of suffering for now. And this aluminum seat on top of my ass being completely numb. It is like boiling hot. So yeah. And I've been getting a ton of comments about the steering wheel not being aligned. I get it. Like the steering wheel isn't aligned. I put the steering wheel on and then the next day I was racing the car and then the day after that I brought the car to get the gears done so it's like I just haven't had time to align the steering wheel it the car is aligned like they, I got all on well, the last steering wheel I got an alignment and everything the car is aligned so the steering the new steering wheel just puts you off center so I just need a steering alignment which is not hard I mean I could do that myself it wouldn't be that bad but I've been getting a ton of shit on Instagram and in the comments that the steering wheel is like, like I don't know the steering wheel isn't aligned. Like I know, trust me guys, it annoys me too. Like you do all this, everyone, it's like someone was like, oh, you could build a, build a motor, redo motor swap a car, but you can't align a steering wheel. It's like, 
Listen here, motherfucker, I can align the steering wheel. It's just, when you got priorities, whether you would align the steering wheel or put 410 gears in your car, I'm sorry, but I'm putting the 410 gears in the fucking car. All right, guys, we'll do a little second gear pull just to get a taste of it. See what's happening with these 410 gears right after this bump. South Louisiana. Thank you guys. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you guys tuning in. You keep liking the videos, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos. Please keep that up. You know, if you're viewing the video and you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please just click the subscribe button so we get those subscribers up. I appreciate you guys. Take it easy.